So in this video, we'll be talking about uh, Dupe Guru uh, software, which is a free software for finding duplicate uh, files, images, and uh, getting all of them deleted. So um, we'll be talking about uh, the various modes in this, primarily the standard and the picture mode. So let's say if you have files or images, uh, which you think are duplicate, so you can just uh, pull all the folders uh, which uh, you want to search for duplicate files uh, to to over here. So once you have done with that, uh, you can just uh, click on scan to scan all the files for any duplicate. Now there are various options uh, in this. So for example, contents. Primarily you should choose contents because we really want to ensure that uh, the contents of uh, the documents or files or images are unique and uh, there would be some options for example what is the filter hardness um, if uh, they should be very similar in nature or they should they can be a little different so primarily you should just choose 99 just so that uh, you're absolutely sure that uh, the files are almost identical or largely identical and uh, you can choose to ignore smaller files in this uh, so you can mention that that okay files that are smaller than a fixed number of uh, file size can be ignored or if the images are or documents are larger than a specific size for example 1 GB then those can be ignored while we don't want to do that so we have we haven't selected those options but you can choose uh, these options and uh, we don't want to partially hash files we just want to do it completely so that we are absolutely certain that uh, files or images that we are searching for um, are absolutely identical and uh, no unwanted document is getting deleted now that was there and then these are just vanity options so once you're done with that uh, with choosing the filter hardness you can just uh, click on OK and then you can scan for it. So once you will scan for it, it will show you results like this and it will show you what is the match uh, percentage. So how identical are these files or images and largely these are uh, identical in this case. And as you can see, it is always retaining the um, images or documents of highest size. It is very much applicable in the case of um, images. So as you can see, the same image is available uh, in 143 KB and uh, also 247, 516 is one of the duplicate images. And then there is higher resolution image um, of uh, 701 KB. So it always uh, retain the highest quality image. Um, so you can just uh, go to mark and uh, mark all and then action you want to take is uh, go to actions and then send mark to recycle bin so this will just uh, delete uh, the images or documents uh, directly or there is a second option which is uh, picture in this case uh, there are jpgs in the folders they will be searched for and uh, you can define uh, the filter hardness in this case also we just want it uh, to be 99 so that uh, there will be fewer matches but identical ma matches and uh, match pictures of different dimensions so like we discussed there was a difference in file size and there was a difference in dimensions so uh, uh, images of higher dimension will be considered uh, for keeping while the smaller dimension images can be ignored or deleted because we would want images of highest resolution and file size to be retained and uh, remove uh, empty folders on delete or move this can be an important uh, folder if there are so many folders in your main folder uh, and then you can just click on ok and these settings will be saved in our case um, after doing the search for picture we came up with uh, with this search and uh, the search results uh, uh, resulted in about uh, 3800 duplicates uh, the file size of them is uh, 2.5 GB which is quite a lot so this amount of uh, images and uh, will be deleted and uh, we'll get some free space for us 
to do something more and uh, it is a good practice to always open uh, the various uh, uh, images so that you are absolutely sure that uh, only the relevant images are getting deleted so do this uh, spot checking for for couple of uh, such cases so that uh, you don't uh, really feel that you have uh, accidentally missed uh, any of your document which was very important to you so file size uh, lower file sizes here uh, this is available uh, in higher res as well likewise uh, we have 720 cross 1280 and then there is higher uh, image of uh, higher resolution which is 1440 cross 2560 so this is an important uh, insight and uh, this is how you really find duplicate images and uh, files using dupe guru and uh, this saves you a lot of time which would wouldn't have uh, which would have taken you a lot of time if you would have uh, done this uh, manually it can save you hours or days so this is a godsend software which is available for free and uh, hopefully you would uh, enjoy using this software and hopefully this will be productive for you thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.